la calavera garbancera, la Catrina. The most famous symbol of Dia de los Muertos may be the calacas and calaveras, skeletons and skulls, which appear everywhere during the holiday in candid sweets, sugar skulls, parade masks, and dolls. Calacas and calaveras are almost always portrayed as enjoying life, often in fancy clothes and in entertaining situations. The most famous, La Catrina, was created by Jose Guadalupe Posada, born February 2nd in 1852 in the section of San Marcos in the city of Aguascalientes, Zacatecas. In 1857, that part of Zacatecas was admitted as the state of Aguascalientes, Mexico. At a young age, he showed his genius artistic flair for drawing. His brother, Cirilio Posada, who was also his literacy teacher, signed him up at El Esfuerzo, an arts and crafts school. He became a lithographic apprentice at the age of 18, at the printing press of Jose Trinidad Pedrosa. The business grew to be the most important of its kind in Mexico. Posada's first illustration was in El Jicote, a newspaper with a political comical overtone to it. The first illustration of death was in 1872, the image of a small skeleton holding a scythe over a tombstone. Posada's reputation grew rapidly, not just locally in Aguascalientes from 1852 to 1872, in the city of León, Guanajuato, 1872 to 1888, in Mexico City and the world from 1888 to his death in 1913. In 1890, Posada joined the workshop of editor Antonio Venegas Arroyo, whom he worked until his death. They produced a wide range of publications and themes that were so diverse that he was celebrated as a graphic chronicler and illustrator of his time. It was during this period of his life that Posada fully developed what was to become the popular Mexican graphic art that we know today. Posada's artwork contains over 16,000 illustrations, lithograph, stamps, and artwork. The artistic genius of the stamp informed and entertained people through the funny pictures that illustrated corridos and popular songs to stories to passionate crimes and gallant ladies and flyers that relate misery, love, greed, power, and death. Posada's last engraving was the world-renowned Calavera Garbancera. It was created in 1912 and published 10 months after his death, on January 20th, 1913. Garbancera, to all those people who have indigenous blood but pretend to be European, forgetting and not wanting to be part of their roots and their culture, later to be known as Calavera Catrina, the Catrina School. The concept of La Catrina originated during the Porfiriato between 1876 and 1910 when Porfirio Diaz was president of Mexico. As a criticism of the elitist class of Mexico, Posada wanted to create skeletons dressed extravagantly and elegantly to depict the Mexican woman of the upper class during the Porfiriato. Posada said that death is democratic because at the end of the day, blonde, brunette, rich or poor, everyone ends up as a skeleton at the end. La Catrina signifies death for Mexicans and there are different sizes, textures and colors throughout Mexico and the world. Even though La Catrina is very popular, many people do not know its significance and they associate it with something dark, which is a mistake. Even though La Catrina is a skeleton, she symbolizes a tradition full of life with an extravagantly plum sombrero tilted to the side, an elegant, tight dress. La Catrina's tall, elegant, dignified female skeleton eloquently stands in the center of attention in homes, restaurants, and museums all around Mexico and the world. La Catrina is something spiritual in Mexico. We always adore and admire skeletons. We are not afraid. We love the bones that represent our ancestors. For Mexicans, death does not scare us. On the contrary, we dress La Catrina up nicely. We turn her into candy to eat. We craft La Catrina with different materials to be able to admire her as part of our culture, but specifically as part of Dia de los Muertos, Day of the Dead. Over time, the social commentary that La Catrina portrayed 
which originated in Mexico's social change, its corrupt government, the hypocrisy of the rich, or the suffering of the poor, the image of La Catrina and its details are considered one of Mexico's most iconic figures. La Catrina is a symbol of unity, distinction, and cultural pride for Mexicans. La Catrina is a form of unifying humanity because at the end, blonde or brunette, rich or poor, everyone ends up as a skeleton.